Hi you guys, so this is going to end up being my makeup collection slash storage video. Right now you're kind of looking at an overview of my main setup and then up above there we have some more little things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open all of the drawers because otherwise I can't open them with one hand to show you guys. So I will be back shortly. Bye. Okay, so I can't actually open them all because they tip over, so we're just going to get started. This is the top of my little um, setup. These are each 10 drawers a piece, and so obviously I have three of them. This first one over here is nails, and then it has cream eyeshadows and pigments at the bottom. Um, and then this one is kind of, these two are mostly makeup. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with the top. Um, over here, you can see, obviously, I have my candle. This is the Diptych um, Perdigone one, which I don't think you're going to be able to see, but it's my favorite. And then I also have some of the skincare products that I'm using right now, which are mostly Bobbi Brown. Um, this is the Overnight Cream, the Lush um, Lip Scrub, my EOS Hand Balm by Terry Balm de Rose. This is my... MAC Tender Tone. This is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. This is a by Terry sample and then a Bobbi Brown like a uh, repairing balm. And there's my phone with my cute Kate Spade case. I have it sitting here because I'm waiting for confirmation from my brother because his wife or girlfriend is currently in labor. But anyways, so back in the back here we have makeup setting sprays, some more skincare, pretty much anything that I grab for from my this little area. And because I put my skincare on over here, I also have things like here's my deodorant, but um, and uh, dry hairspray or dry shampoo. These are the Shu Umera. Um, Deep Sea Waters and Bergamot and Lavenders here. This is my Guerlain thing. This is um, rose water that I use um, before I put any of my skincare on. And then I have like Fix Plus is in this container. And then I have a little one. This is Urban Decay All Night. This is my brush cleaner that I keep in a Fix Plus. And then just some random skincare type things. This is what you guys saw in my shopping my stash video so you can kind of tell how, how I have it set up. These are my palettes over here. This is my NARS blush palette that I just keep out. This is a hand sanitizer that I always use and then I also have my um, makeup cleansing wipes. Sorry if I sniffle. I'm like super sick. Um, and so then on top of here we have all of my nail wheels that are um, numbered by wheel, like this one's Essie, so it's number 11, and then by polish, and then I have them all by name in one of my moleskins, so I just keep those in this little thing I got at Target, and then I have my makeup mirror back here that folds and then lights up, but it doesn't light up anymore, and then my Temp2 um, airbrushing system. And then I also have just back there I have a sack for trash. We'll go up here for a second just so I can show you what's up here. First I have my two glitter sprays which you guys have seen. This is my By Terry um, Or De Rose which is the um, you can see the like crazy shimmer. Um, it's Bomb De Rose with like gold. This is an Illamasqua oil. This is a present for someone. This up here is for Jess from Getting Cheeky. It's her order rose. And then here are my larger palettes that wouldn't fit in my system. So I have, this one is the e.l.f. 100. I think this one is the like Sephora. Yeah, this is the Sephora one where you could pop out the shadows and like make your own little palette. And then I have all of my Coastal Scents palettes. I have pretty much all of them. Um, some more Coastal Scents. And then here we have the 15th anniversary. This is Tarte for True Blood, uh, Urban Decay, Alice in Wonderland. This is the 
New York Book of Shadows, and then this is the newest one. I have the other Book of Shadows, but they are at home. Then in here, up here, I keep my Back to Mac stuff. This is just a hand cream. And here's where I keep stuff for giveaways. And then up there I have a sample bag, is this girl on bag, and then Christmas wrapping stuff. All of my Christmas presents are sitting here waiting to be wrapped. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you what's in the two units on top. This is my brushes right here, organized by type of brush. Um, I used to have them all out in like containers, but I don't like that because... My apartment gets dusty really fast, and I really don't like having dust in my brushes. So, these are face brushes. Um, over here we have mostly like foundation and buffing brushes, and then over here are like cheek brushes. And then in the back, I have concealer brushes. Then these are my eye brushes. You can't really tell that they're separated, but over here are lining and smudging brushes, and then over here are like buffing brushes and lay down brushes and things like that. Back here I have a Bobbi Brown um, holiday, or this was from the tortoiseshell collection, but it's just a travel case that I take with me when I travel. Then I have my beauty blenders and then my little eco tools uh, kabuki set. And my extra temp twos because I don't fit in my foundation drawer. And then down here is kind of a mess. But as you can tell, I have my lashes in the back. I have my two lash curlers. I have lip brushes here just because uh, that's where they went. Um, then I have primers over here, like eye primers. Uh, sharpeners. And then all of my brow products are right there. So that's this little setup. Oh, and then this right here is the Tarte. Christmas palette thing that doesn't fit anywhere else. Then, this is where I keep my mascaras and my pencil eyeliners. Um, so, well, not just pencil, but eyeliners in general. So here we have, this half is the, all the, like, neutral kind of cream colors, and then over here are black. And I just did this like this because these are the two that I use the most. This next drawer is all of my colored eyeliners. And um, here is my first thing of mascaras. And these are the ones that I use most often. Obviously, this is a lot of mascaras to be going at once. But um, some of these haven't even been opened yet. So I don't open them until I start using them. Then here's some more mascaras. These are mostly minis from like the Sephora lash dash and things like that. These are my gel liners which obviously are kind of messy. Um, you have Bobbi Brown, more Bobbi Brown, more Bobbi Brown. Um, this is my MAC. Let's see if it'll focus. Whoa. Royal Wink. Sorry. Um, and then I also have my Laura Mercier Tight Line Activator and then my Laura Mercier Cake Liners back here. And then this last drawer is all of my, like, big shadow pencils. So I have all of my Urban Decay shadow pencils. These are the mini ones. And then back here I have, like, the NYX Jumbo Pencils and MAC Shade Sticks. Okay, so now we're on to the big guy. Um, I'm actually going to pull up my table so that I can sit and show you guys this, otherwise it's going to be super complicated. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with this tower right here which has my nail polishes in it just because we can get that out of the way fastest. So this first drawer is also a mess, but it is bases, removers, cuticle oils, nail glue, tools things like that. This is my Deborah Lippmann manicure collection. Then this first drawer is high-end polishes. So I have my Butter Londons right here. These are my Lemaitier, Chanel, obviously, NARS, Deborah Lippmann, my two YSLs. Then if I pull this out some more, well, I'll just show you. Zoyas are right here, Illamasquas, and Spa Ritual. 
So that's what's in. Oh, and my one new bar. And my one Christian Dior. This is the Saint Tropez one, the one that everybody was like tripping out over. Um, I actually picked it up before I realized it was like super limited edition, but there it is. Then this is my OPIs. I'm not I hate how they're organized, um, just because I would rather them stand up, but the OPIs won't stand up straight in these. But I have them, these, this side is glitters, this side is like creams and shimmers, and then this, these are just the ones that are overflow. I did it by collection, so you have the DS ones, the designer series. This is my private jet, the hollow version. Um, and then I have the ones from Burlesque, and then the Muppets, and Katy Perry, and then these are just creams. Then this drawer is kind of a mess, mi mishmash. Um, these are obviously my Essies. Um, these are H and M, as are these. These are all H and M actually, except for right. These four are my gosh polishes. These are also H and M, and then just some random ones like this is my one color club, and some bourgeois and things like that. This one, <laughs> um, up top are my Orleys, and then my C&D FX ones, which I love. I want to collect all of them. And then obviously my Model Zone, which go all the way back. You guys have seen these in my Model Zone haul. This is just how I keep them, upside down so I can see the names. This drawer is kind of what was left. Um, so we've got my couple of china glazes, my Max. Oops, these two fell over. Um, some nail pins. This is uh, Facets of Fuchsia from Danielle. And then these are all my minis. And then this is the Deborah Lippmann Dancing in the Dark mini collection. Then, so that's it for nail polishes. And then this next one is all of my like cream eyeshadow products. So I have my Mac paint pots, all of my Actually, okay, so these are all paint pots up until, this is a uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Cream, and then these are my Chanel Illusion to Ombres, then these are Bobbi Brown right here, um, Estila, what is this one, this one may be another, sh uh, no, Benefit, um, my three Lorac Luster Drops, um, some mixing mediums and other things like that. This next drawer is probably my favorite. These are my Coastal Scents uh, Mica and Pigment samples. And um, you get them in baggies, and then I depot all of them into little containers that I also get. So obviously, it's color coordinated. This took me hours. Then this one is all of my other company pigments. So up top are Models Own and Sleek. Some Collection 2000 and Berry M. And then these back here are all MAC pigment samples from, who did I get them from? Stars Makeup Haven, who doesn't do them anymore. Then this last drawer is MAC pigments, which I can't. We, there we go. Okay. So obviously we have pigments, glitters. These are the um, acrylic paints that I use on shoots. Um, and then these these two right here are mixing mediums for those. And then these are the crushed metal pigment stacks. So I'm going to end this part here. And then we'll start another part for the next two. So I will see you guys.